We're gonna go to one of the more famous restaurants here in Lisbon, Barrio de Alaves. He's a Michelin starred chef. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get into his Michelin starred restaurant on such short notice, but second best thing. So we're gonna check out the patio. Um, hopefully get a little tuk-tuk ride down there, um, see the city a little bit more before dinner and take y'all along. So let's go have the dinner of our lives. At the end of the day, that's okay, I'll do a transfer. All right. How many days we hopped on a tuk-tuk. Five days. All right. Yeah. Friends? Sorry? You have some friends? No, I'm all alone. All right. Yeah. Finally experiencing that tuk-tuk ride. Very, very good restaurant. Yeah. I heard good things about it. Yeah. Yes. So, in the streets of Portugal, on the way to Mario de Alvarez for dinner. So, come on guys, let's enjoy this ride. Way to see Lisbon. Absolutely. Yes, yes. When we stop, I'll explain. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. You stay in your days in the city of Lisbon? Yeah, I stay in all five days in Lisbon. Oh. Yep. Plaza over here. Very cool. Looks like we're in there in the entertainment district now. Yeah, I saw the tuk-tuk tour. I might end up getting one. It's a fun little ride. Shout out to Thiago. He was a really nice tuk-tuk driver. Um, probably gonna take a little tour with him tomorrow. He said he'd take me around the castles and a few of the other little harder to locate places in Lisbon. Um, can't think of a better way to do it than with a tuk-tuk. And Thiago, thank you, because he's got us to dinner tonight. Mario de Alvarez. Just gonna take a little look at the back of the house action. Very nice. Made it into the patio, ordered me a mug. It's kind of like a Moscow mule. Um, bartender came over and gave some really good information on it. Asked him what a local uh, Portuguese cocktail would be, and he let me know. So I told him, going ahead, once this one's empty, send me that one. So, see so yeah, that one alone. This patio is kind of small, but the menu here is the one I wanted to eat. So. Well, it's not as fancy as the rest of the restaurant, it is the menu I want, so let's eat. We got moved into the Tapernera. Um, couldn't order the full menu from the patio, so got a nice little table inside. 
the front of the little bartender made me a traditional Portuguese drink. I can't remember the name, but damn if he didn't do a good job. Like I said. So we went with the traditional minced cabbage soup. A little chorizo. That should be delicious. I don't see the chorizo though. Caliente. Definitely not seeing the chorizo, but one can't always have everything. To be fair, I did find the chorizo. And it I wish they put more in there because it gives it that good kick. I told you I was gonna get something I never ordered before, so went with the grilled octopus. Never had anything like that, but I'm gonna try it out. Alright, here it is. First bite octopus. I'll take a second to decide on that. I like it. Good choice, Heather. Good call. So we're gonna eat our octopus leg. See what's for dessert. That is just good, good octopus. I'm really liking this dinner. That soup, the traditional verde soup, finish all that off. It's just delicious. We got a little pastel donata, uh, Barrio de Alves style. So it's a little different than the one we had earlier, but damn if it ain't cute. Let's try it out. That was a nice fulfilling dinner. Let's see if I can fit this dessert in there. A nice little cheese selection here. That was a delicious meal. Excuse me? Well, like I said, I don't do many four course meals, but that one was delicious. All full. I'm gonna head back to the Airbnb, take a little walk. If something pops up, I'll get back with y'all. But just in case, appreciated y'all watching this one, and see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. From Barrio de Alves, very, very delicious. Um, shout out to Elio and David. Elio was my server. David was my bartender. I mean, they took care of me. David made me one of the traditional Portuguese cocktails. Um, unfortunately, I asked him the name three times, and I still can't remember, so I have to try to find that one online. It's just my go-to drink now. So until next time, y'all. Take it easy and see you later.